Good evening. My name is Violetta. Today is the 2nd of September. We have our 12th session. It's already 12 videos that we are make, we are into a making today and I'm enjoying all your questions. Sorry we can't answer all of them because it's pretty nice and amazing how many questions we are getting. The way I'm working as a psychic, I I will be asked a question and then I will have a picture and I will try to translate you what that picture means to me. And we are ready to start. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so Michelle Hurtado brought up a very good point from our last video. Um, you were already, she was already communicating with us. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Why is Trump, who is big into building hotels, putting restrictions on American travel and trade with Cuba? Some old. I see as slices or old movie and they were going backwards. Something from the past that he doesn't have a good memory or good picture about. Something upset him. Something didn't work out because the video that I'm seeing, it's like a movie. They are sliced in a small pieces and all of them are white out, white out, white out. Something didn't work for him before. And he is upset about that. So it's like retaliation? Something like that, yes. It's slices of old, uh, like this old type of video. And all the pieces are there, but just wipe out, wipe out, wipe out. I think he tried to, to do something and didn't work out for him. That's my feeling. That's my feeling. How does a, how does a video fit into this? You never mentioned a video in your... No, but this visions. one was like a slice after slice of old film. Okay, I didn't close my eyes. So what is the question? Was it related to... What type of business was it related to that, that he had this fallout with Cuba? I would think it's casino. Black and red. Black, red, and green, and it was coins put on. He wanted to start casinos over there, and I don't think Cubans wants him to do it. So he wants to go back to the times before the Cuba retaliated from USA. He wants to bring casinos there, and they didn't let him. Oh, so now he is upset about uh, this. It's all the type of lifestyle he wanted to introduce to them. Uh -huh. That's what came to me. I might be wrong, but I think it makes kind of sense because I saw the casino trips. Yeah, no, I can see that. That that would make sense. So he wanted the the, the casino businesses there, and they said no. Hmm. Because that was the reason they before went the way they went. Okay. Well, let's move on. Okay. Um, Lotus Lady Lotus writes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, President Trump to date has refused to pr provide a full medical report as other candidates have done. And the White House recently evaded a question about whether Trump was soon will soon undergo the traditional annual medical examination. Can you hold my hands? 
Uh, the the question's not there yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> not that I went, but I thought that that's a question. So okay. <laughs> no, like, you're understanding the subject, yeah. though, right? So, so he's recently evaded questions. The White House has recently evaded questions about whether Trump will soon undergo the traditional annual medical examination that other presidents have throughout their, their tenure. With all this in mind. I can't help but wonder, all right, ready? What is he hiding about his physical and or mental health? The mental, I think it's the waviness of the pine trees, cedar trees, the wavy, and the physical. He's swallowing some tablets. I don't think he wants them to know what kind of tablets he's taking. <laughs> Erectile dysfunction? I know, I don't know, but he doesn't want them to know what he is taking. I see big white tablets, but that's a symbol, so I don't know what he is taking. And the waviness of the trees cedar trees or pine trees they're waving so he doesn't want them to know about his mental stability and those tablets are secret so he doesn't want them to, to know what kind of because they are in a paper in an envelope so he's taking them and it's like in a letter what, like? I don't know what he's taking them. Don't ask me. <laughs> don't ask me what he's taking them for. But he doesn't want anyone to know. He feels it's a secret. Okay, I've seen this movie. It's called Limitless. And it's about these these drugs, these pills that make you smarter. Is there is there such a thing as these pills? Is he taking them? <laughs> Clearly not. But... It's for digging, like you, how you call the, those three forks when you are digging manure in the fields uh, somewhere, because they are the three forks, something dirty. <laughs> I don't know what those tablets are. That's not for making you smarter. Something else, something for... Maybe someone else will understand what well, that fork means. I for. think it's pretty clear. Like dirty, I mean, it's probably his erectile dysfunction. I heard something about that. Actually. Maybe you know he's seventy-one and he has very much younger wife, so he probably is trying his best. Why not, right? <laughs> okay, Kelly Miller writes: Will Trump eventually have to face a grand jury? and have to testify. On this side, I see umbrella with, without the fabric. And it's pointed this way. Umbrella is protection. And it looks like he it's in the Senate. So he wouldn't have a protection. He will have to probably testify without any protection. No one will protect him. Senate wouldn't protect him because it's the arena of the Senate and then umbrella is this way. It's laying down, it's not holding and there is no fabric. That will be symbol of kind of vulnerability and getting to the ba basic how would you understand umbrella without the pro pro it's yeah, he's, no he's it's nuisance no yeah it's nuisance 
but uh, he will be probably testifying in front of the Senate because it was a Senate. People are sitting there. The lights are on him, oh, oh, on the umbrella. And the umbrella has no protection. So he will be pulled to the pieces. To the fabric will be taken off and he will have to face the, the everything without any protection. Mm. Okay. Um, I was. I just wanted to know what the vision will show me because I don't have a clue how that will work. But that's what came in. Okay, I got a question. Where will Trump be after his president presidency is over? Where Where will in, he reside? In in USA or like where will he live? On the south, he will be living probably in Florida, and it's not too fancy. It will be. He will try to move as much as he can, but it will be somewhere on south of Flo uh, in Florida because I see the east coast. And he he's shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. So his wealth will shrink. Mm. So it's not Mar-a-Lago, probably. <laughs> I'm guessing he'll want to stay away from the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> By that time, who knows? Um, Drifty Van Dweller writes, Will Bernie Sanders run for president again? Oh, the steps are huge. There are two steps, and he's hardly walking on them. It's like he will be climbing, climbing, but something with his help will hold him back. I know right now he looks so... And I mentioned how much I like him, but it looks like the steps will be huge for him. Hmm. So he might try it, but I don't know if he will be very lucky with age is age, and he will be seventy. He's seventy four right now, if I remember right. So he will be probably seventy eight. Mm. It's a little bit too late. The next two years will probably be very hard for him, and I see only two steps. So I don't know how he will make it. Hmm. Okay. But I don't understand that completely, the two steps. All right. Robin Sweet uh, asks, and a few others want to know, um, was Hurricane Harvey geoengineered? Like, was it man-made? Mm -hmm. Oh. I have real chills. There was two powers and they were spinning the spin. I know that it looks like a hurricane, but I thought there was one somewhere in North America, another was on the other continent, and they were like fighting with each other and uh, on the plane, how you call this pearl? Uh, something that is moving on the plane when it like starts. a vortex? No, the, when it starts the plane, how you call this pearl? That wing. So the wing is going this way. On the helicopter, you have that. Oh, a propeller. A propeller. Yeah. And it was like going this way, that way, this way, that way. So it was like a war between two big powers. I wouldn't be surprised if some countries were battling with USA about controlling the weather. But that just came to my mind. I'm not saying that that's written in a stone, but I had the feeling that they were doing this movement and eventually the other country was able to spin it and push it. 
So there is some war going on between countries to control the weather. You saw two towers? Two places that were fighting, like putting impulses. And they were this way, that way, and eventually it started spinning and it went. It's, it's funny because, well, it's not funny, but oh, like my next question is, is concerning that too. But when I was looking up, like doing some research, apparently there, there's like 16 of these tower things throughout the world. Right? Well, that's what they say anyway. I don't know. You're talking <laughs> really? about harp on. I'm talking about harp. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned Alaska. harp. Too. That's what kind of came to my mind that that might be one American and then another country, vice versa, and they were doing this movement. Okay. Well, I guess that answers my, my next question. What are scientists working on, on at HARP? And HARP stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program in Alaska. So I think that that's what I have seen, that they were... So that's what they're doing there, huh? The other country has something similar to, to USA. I, I, I don't know why it was on this side. Because if it's Russia, it will be on the... Jeez, you know, like, why would you go to war with another country if you can just send a storm to wipe them out? And uh, destroy the yeah. meteor. Incognito. Yeah. Okay, I got um two more questions, and these are, are a little bit different than the others. Um, why was... Okay, no. Let's start with... Uh, was there more to Lady Diana's fatal car crash than the public was made aware of? Okay. The feeling when you have when someone is pulling a rack out of your feet. She had to fall down. The rug was pulled out of her feet. There was something that was not... I know that she was expecting that she will be killed in a car accident or plane uh, or helicopter because she went with that to her lawyer a few weeks before her death. But the vision that I have, it's like pulling a rug out of someone's feet and you have to fall down and you, you are hurt. I don't know if it, they wanted to kill her, but they wanted to scare her. That it will be something you will be without our... You can't be walking on the carpet and she's mother of the kings, uh, of the future king. So they wanted to take the carpet away from her. Oh, the, the they red. They pulled the red carpet out of her feet. That's what I think it means. I like those questions. I like to, to, uh, to, to feel like a child when I see the pictures, but to answer them is always a challenge. But that's what I felt like. Someone will pull a rug out of her feet. Why would someone want to do that to her? They want a spotlight to be pointing to the sky. I think she was too much of a human being and, and they want the future kings be without future king be without her pulling him down so they want to have the free sky for him sky is the limit and it was like one cloud over another and another and then they were in such a nice balance i think they thought that, that that's the best thing for for, for the future king they didn't like that she was 
doing what she was doing. It almost sounds like... They pulled the carpet and the security blanket, whatever you can call this. That's what I have seen. I'm not going to say that that was... Like, to me, it sounds like she was too much of a star. She was know? a star. And maybe they didn't want that sort of... She was going, and she was, oh, paparazzi was everywhere after her. So she became the, the sensation. Everyone wanted a picture of her. Yeah. And from the movie, they, they say that she will even call the paparazzi to tell them, take a picture of me kissing with my boyfriend. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Um, so they didn't like that for sure. <laughs> so many questions I want to ask about that, but I don't think no, that's why. Okay. Uh, why was President Kennedy assass assassinated? It is Cuba related. Run money. It's a tree of a shape of Cuba growing with a lot of money. I don't know if he was causing some... They thought that if he would be gone, they could deal better with Cuba. I don't know if that was the, the reason or something like that. Because mm. it's tree. Of, uh, it's a Cuba and then it's changing the shape and it's a tree and it's full of money. Somewhere related to the... They thought that, that he is stopping them from being uh, making any businesses with Cuba. Who... <laughs> Was Castro behind behind it? Castro was uh, again small fish, fancy fish, but it was not the big fish. Maybe Russians was afraid that he will be making. I don't have a clue, but it's a small fish. Castro is a small fish. Yeah, and Babushka, they looked Russian, Russian so, <laughs> so maybe Russian. you're not to some. Yeah, All right, that's is. it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Please subscribe us and watch our videos. We are very happy making them. And we will make them more often, but our schedules are very busy. So as, ma as often as we can, we are doing those videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.